All right, so in this example, we have a particle of mass m, which is supported by a spring of stiffness k and a damping constant element c, and we're told a vertical force f of t acts on the particle is shown, and we're asked to let x describe the position of the particle where x is measured from the position of the particle when the spring is unstretched. And so here we want to find the equation of motion for the system in terms of the coordinate x. So in this regard, we want to start by drawing a free body diagram for the particle. And if I do that here, what am I going to have? Well, I'll have my particle, and I'll draw it a force and a ma side of my diagram. So if the particle deflects downward with a displacement x, the spring is actually going to contribute a spring force of magnitude kx up. And the dash pot is going to contribute a force of the form c times x dot. In addition to this, we'll have the applied force f of t. And we'll have the weight, which I can write as m times g. Now the mass times acceleration will be downward positive because the x-coordinate is defined to be downward positive. And we'll give them by not just ma, but actually m times x double dot because we know x double dot will be the acceleration of the block. At this juncture, to find the equation of motion, I'm simply going to apply Newton's second law to this particle using downward positive as my sign convention to be consistent with the definition of x in the drawing. So if I do that, what am I going to have? I'm going to have minus cx dot minus kx minus f of t is equal to, oops, excuse me, plus mg is equal to mx double dot. I can then write this in a somewhat more standard form by moving the terms multiplying x to the same size as the inertia term. And if I do that, I'll have mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to mg minus f of t. And this will be the equation of motion for the system in terms of the dynamic variable x. Take care.